Hello, viewer. Welcome to Billy's playthrough of Sekiro Shadow Die Toy. Billy, you're not reading the fucking place. I did. The not great. I read everything. Fuck. I changed that to English. I don't want to listen to no fucking Japanese. Why would I do that? Because. Because I like being able to listen to the great English voice acting. Is it great, though? Yes. Yes, it is. English. Okay, well, we can do that, too. I like how there's only three voices. That's it. Yeah. So if you like any of those, then what? Too bad. No Spanish or anything. Alrighty. Billy's how many times do the shadows have to die? Twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so Billy, are you this ready? This is the new From Software game, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna. I have to get good or get bad. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, I think you'll like this game once you kind of get into it. You know, there's some mechanics that you gotta learn. I don't want to. I I don't want to tell you too much about how like secrets and stuff and all that. I kind of want you to figure it out. Um, but I'll tell you. I'll give you a couple a couple tips. Oh, yeah. I know that war. I agree. Oh, dude, you walked into the wrong battlefield. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you walked into literally the one place you shouldn't have walked into. Ow. Why did you run away from the battlefield and then come back? I don't know, Why, because you saw one guy die? Yeah, there were still some people fighting, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at that big motherfucker. Yeah, this, uh... This game, like, spits in the face of that Neo game. Like, Neo sucks ass in comparison to this game. In my opinion, anyway. Ow, my toe. Hence why we haven't played Neo since we first played it on the show. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping we'll play this one through to a good good degree at very at the very least. That bitch is dead. General is no more. I cut his fucking neck off. Wrestled. Sweet. When you get the chance, I might even I'd say maybe even turn the brightness up one more. Just looks a little little dork on the on the TV. Okay. Might even just want to max it out, honestly. <laughs> oh, dude! Ow! What the fuck? What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose. I'm gonna grab your sword now. It's like grabbing your pee pee. Fascinating. Will you join me, starving wolf? Your hand shouldn't be bleeding from uh, grabbing onto a blade. No? No. You can grab onto a blade pretty easily. It's actually one of the tactics in a lot of sword fighting. Obviously, you're doing it with a gauntlet. I just say, didn't they used to have like a special glove for that type of shit? But you can grab it barehanded. You know, oh, yeah. but if someone pulls or jerks it, then you're going to bleed. Oh, yeah. But just grabbing it, you're not. It's like grabbing a knife. Just don't move. If he if he if he wants to poop, you wipe. If he wants to poop, let him poop. And then you wipe. His let him poop. Let him poop. Let the poopy run down his leg. Let the poopy run down his leg. <laughs> I don't think Hootie and the Blowfish would have been as popular if they wrote a song about somebody pooping. <laughs> But who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's yeah. Maybe you know. maybe Hootie and the Blowfish <laughs> really just needed to tap into the scat market. Po poopy and the poop fish, and not the not that kind of scat market. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this story doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but just know that there's... it's from soft. I mm -hmm. I expect it. Yeah, it's not as cryptic as um, Souls, but. So he's protecting a little boy. Oh, 
Okay. This is like some uh, some shogun's uh, son. Yeah, he's like the heir or something. Yeah. Whatever, you know. That whole spiel. God, why do I get to play the game? Yeah, in like what two is this, seconds. Metal Gear? Metal Gear. Chernobyl. Wait up. Oh. Melissa kept calling him Chernobyl. Chernobyl. <laughs> Just falls straight into the water. Oh, fuck. Leave me alone. I'm taking a nap. But Shinobi's are... Are not Samurai. Is he not a Samurai? I don't know. I don't know what the definition of a Shinobi is. It's like really a ninja. Know. It's like a ninja, right? Yeah. But not... Yeah, he's not really a Samurai, so he's like a ninja guy. Okay. Uh, that doesn't seem like an honorable kind of thing. Samurai were more peasants, actually, too, which makes sense because he he was just but a but a peasant. But a wee lash and let her thrown into a well. Girls, wolf, your destiny awaits you at the moon view tower. Escape well, bathe in moonlight without a blade. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Okay. Yeah, you can be stealthy in this game, Billy. Not 100% of the time, but you can stealth. There's also... It took me a little while to figure it out, but if you hold... Um, kind of like in Souls, a circle allows you to dodge, and also if you hold it, you can sprint. What the fuck is this? Uh, you use that to suck up loot later. Oh, okay. And if you jump and hit square, you can grab ledges, but only certain ones, but that's kind of the gist of it. Can you sprint right now if you hold circle? Say you can crouch. Uh, if you hold circle you should be able to... Well, maybe they might not let you do it yet, but you could sprint with circle. There is no stamina in this game, which is pretty cool. So you can sprint as long as you want and you can attack as freely as you want. Yeah, read every single tutorial thing that comes up, but most of it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, five slots available. Kind of like, you know, quick items like in before. Um... Uh, Inventory items. Uh, yeah. So the cool thing is that homeward idol in this game. Like you know how in the old ones, like it would take away all your money and shit, like yeah. your souls. In this game, it doesn't. You can you just use that freely, however oh, you want. Okay. Yeah. There's the the map. Uh, yeah, but the, you might even just crank it. Let's look at it. Uh, oh my god! I'm sorry. Nine looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty clear. Uh, Jesus! Fucking shut up. Who put that there? Whose footprints are these? <laughs> hey, you. Whose footprints are these? Is this my tower? Yeah. Is this my castle? Yeah. It looks like somebody's killing everybody. So, right here, you hug the wall. I want to give you one tip with, hall, with, with, with wall hugging. I, uh, there aren't illusory walls in this game, but in certain areas, not like very commonly that I found, but there are like hidden walls that you can find if you hug them. Um, so just try that out every once in a while when you think you might find a secret. Usually it's like a wall with like a scroll or something, okay. but it's not very common. It's a very uncommon thing, but they do appear occasionally. Where are you going? Well, I'm going the way that's clearly not the way to go. Oh. Uh, you gotta check things out, uh, Taylor. I know how these games work. Yes. Yes, you do. Well, I'm not finding anything. So I guess I, I know. Can. I know you weren't super hot on uh, Bloodborne. I wasn't. Um, <clears throat> but this one, at least, you hopefully have the expectation that it's not a Souls game because it's not. Expectation, masturbation. So Long there's not really. Margin. This one doesn't really allow you to play the way you want to, but the gameplay is really good. Okay. Like you know how in the Souls games you could obviously like pick your class and shit, and and I'm, and I know you didn't like that in Bloodborne because they kind of railroad you a bit. Yeah. Uh, in this game, they more or less completely railroad you, so you don't really at least have that expectation of being able to create your own character and class and all that shit. So yeah, you can crouch in bushes, and you are stealth. And Shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. <gasps> You fucking asshole. 
<laughs> what the fuck did you say? <laughs> you scream at him from the bushes. <laughs> hey, fuck you, man! <laughs> Wolf can slip into tight spaces such as beneath floors when crouched. But they'll see me. Oh, well, they won't. That goops. Genchiro. Genchiro. Hi, my name is Genchiro. Oh, my ankle. <laughs> In his triumphant introduction, <laughs> I am look. Ah, oh, my fucking ankle. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> you really pop them ankles, dude. I got ankle pops. You should never be a basketball player. <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> should not be. Except for a well trained shinobi. Da, 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 da. Just like the one who was in the well. Oh, my fucking ankle. <laughs> oh, my fucking ankle. <laughs> Ledge hang. Hang. And I could drop down at any moment. Shimmy. I could make this like the fucking. You know what's, what's cool in this game, though, is um, falling in pits like that. Like if you were to fall off the cliff. Uh, it would kill you in this instance, but um, it's not instantaneous death if you have a full health bar. It just like halves your health or whatever, so oh, okay. if you so, fall off a cliff, it's not immediate death. And you don't take damage from falling, but if you do fall enough, you will take damage. So, so it's got a threshold, basically. There is a threshold, but most of the time, I mean, you can fall a fair distance before you'll start, before you tar uh, start taking damage from it, so... You know, you, you can fall a decent ways, but if it looks too far to fall, then generally speaking, don't do it. They kind of lighten the, the punishment on certain things like that just because you're a little bit more agile in this game. I'm going to wreck this kid's face. Am I supposed to wreck this kid's face? No. Oh. Okay. He's reading I'm Game of Thrones. I'm trying to catch up before the final season. I actually got the Game of Thrones books. I got four of them. Huh? Melissa got me them for my birthday. Have you read any yet? I, I've read... I started reading the first one. I'm about 60 pages into it. I haven't read it in a little while. I kind of just read it whenever I feel like I want to. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for it to kind of diverge from what the show did, so... Oh, it will. Yeah, I know it will, but because right now I'm still early on, like, when Robert Venters, uh, visits Winterfell. So, I haven't really gotten that far into it. Raise your head or I'll fucking cut it off, bitch. What the fuck did you call <laughs> me? <laughs> just wax him in the nose with it. <laughs> Kusabi Maru. What the fuck did you just call me? My shinobi. I ain't no Kusabi Maru. Why are we speaking English right now? Isn't it supposed to be Japanese? Honey. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that was, like, the, the default, though. Like, it's set, like, in Japan somewhere. Yeah. So they're, like, everybody's supposed to speak Japanese, but I like I just like hearing it in English, so I'm like, fuck it. The katana given by Kuro. Divine! Tro trophy earned for doing the beginning of the game. Heirloom fam Harada family branch. Descended Asina. Thought lost. Found. Hands wolf. Kushibaru... Shinobi roll kill. Shinobi not forget. Mercy blade itself. Manifest. <clears throat> Y'all. Nope. Nope, I'm not wounded. It's your itchy your pee, isn't it? Estus flask. I mean healing gourd. Yeah, healing gourd. <laughs> gourd filled with Estus. I mean <laughs> pee. <laughs> with little boy pee.
Yeah, he's got like amnesia or some shit. Of course. Did you not see the half of his head is white? Yeah. That means that that's the clear signs of an amnesia attic. Is it? Yeah. They they go gray in one side of their hair until they get their memories back. Oh. Then it comes back. Oh. So, yeah, so in this game, the uh, up on the D-pad is how you use items, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, why don't you just keep it as down? Come on, guys. Down? Yeah, down on the D-pad. Because that's the eavesdrop button. So you have to equip it first. Down on the D-pad. There is a quick little, there is a cool little thing with this. So if you do, uh, if you have multiple items and you quick select. Yeah, so that, that you use up on the D-pad to use that. If you have up, if you have um, multiple items in your quick select, if you hold down left or right, it'll automatically go to the first item in your your quick select window. Oh. So like if you're in the middle of, you'd rather than having to scroll through all your items, you can hold down the button, and then it'll um, it'll uh, go right defaultly to the first item. So usually the healing gourd is the first thing because it's like your Estus basically, and. Uh, it's a quick way to get back to it if you don't want to have to go through all of them. All the items. Go upstairs. See if there's anything upstairs. I just I just wanted to wreck everything. No, I know. I do that too. <laughs> there's no reason to, like in any of the Souls games, to wreck anything, but it's kind of cool because you can just run into shit and it'll break sometimes. So like that candle there, if you just run into it, it'll just break. <laughs> what Pick is that? Vital. Pellet. That's a good item actually too. It's kind of okay, like okay, so the, it's like the ones in uh, Dark Souls, Souls Two. Yeah, they okay. like the life gems, but those come in handy too because then, the, like, you run out of healing gourds very quickly. Obviously, like you only start off with one, and you already used it, so you're kind of fucked. We'll let this episode run a little long just so we can kind of see some shit. You got to put that pellet on just in case too. You never know. So, read the tutorial prompts very carefully is my advice this early on in the game. Uh, Shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture attacking an op enemy is one way to achieve this. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read. <laughs> Every time you read, I burp. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a Shinobi death blow. R1 attack? R1 after breaking posture death yeah. blow. So when you see that red circle, that means that they could be, you can do a death blow on them. R3. Yes, yeah, so R3 is lock on just like any other game, any other Souls game. You can sneak up on this punk bitch. There you go. There it is. Get this sucker. There it is. Doesn't that feel good? I do like that. <laughs> We're going to make a sadistic killer out of you yet, Billy. Can you sprint yet? Yeah, so you can do like a quick little dodge if you tap it, and then if you hold it, you can sprint. It took me a while to figure out that you could sprint. Oh, shit! Game. I don't know why, but it took me a while to figure that out. Fuck. What's down here? Nothing. Anything? Cool trees down on the ground. Everybody likes cool trees. I like cool trees. Cool trees. Uh -oh. What was that? Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way of, to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attack to achieve sweet, sweet, swift victory. L1 the moment an attack lands deflect. So L1 is like your guard button, so you can guard against attacks, but then it'll build up your posture damage. Which is not what you want, because if they break their your posture, you can um, get stunned pretty much. Okay. It's not the worst punishment. Like you can still like roll away if your posture gets broken, but obviously you want to try and prevent that from happening. Yeah, because that would be. A bad so you time. see, like as you deflect their shit, their meter goes up, and when it gets full, their posture becomes broken. By locking on your onto your target. All right. Well, next time we change the chance, we'll get through the rest of this tutorial stuff, right? To attack, deflect. Yeah.